In today's video, we're going to be talking about research, specifically research geared toward intermittent fasting and women. And I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts about a recent research uh, endeavor that was just published that I'm getting lots of questions about. So welcome if you're new here. My name is Diane Parham. I am the creator of the online course and community, the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman. We are a community of women who practice intermittent fasting as a lifestyle choice to help us reverse the signs of aging and allow us the opportunity to look and feel our best and live our most authentic life. And I have a personal mission to really help women think for themselves and empower women to make really informed choices on how it is they want to live their life and the lifestyle choices that they want to make so that they can in fact age well and live very authentically. So research data isn't often done with the woman in mind. Most research data is done by either lab experiments with lab animals or a lot of research is actually done using men. When I get a question like this, um, there's not a whole lot of scientific data to back up much of anything that has to do with women, especially aging women. And so what I really do here in this community and what I like to coach on and really what I teach in all the courses that I have available is to give you your power back, for you to have an opportunity to just ask yourself like, gee whiz, this is interesting. How does this apply to me? Does this seem like this is going to help my life? Does this seem like it's not anything that's applicable to me? And then you can just keep living your life. Um, this article specifically, the one that is titled eight hour time restricted eating linked to a 91% higher risk of cardiovascular death is clickbait. It's 100% clickbait. And I've gotten about 50 requests for my opinion on this specific article and this specific research, um, with women saying that they've read the article. Now, if you've read the article, you need to make sure that you're reading it all the way through and looking at the data that was gathered and how it was gathered to get to this research finding. And you will find that there's a lot of holes in this and it's, in my opinion, since I get asked my opinion, is a very irresponsible research study. We have to remember that research is not an absolute finding that's applicable to every single person walking on earth. It's usually done by a subgroup of people and oftentimes not very controlled. A perfect example of this which is geared to us women is the new research on hormone replacement therapy and how it has completely debunked the old research. And now they're saying that hormone replacement therapy is actually so beneficial to women for their cognitive health and their bone health and heart health when just a few years ago we were told how dangerous it is for us. So again, we have to look at information and then ask ourselves, what do we think about that? What do I, the individual woman, think about a title? Is it worthy of me maybe printing and reading all the way through? And then just sitting on it for a little bit and asking myself, is this applicable to me? And should I give it a try? Like experimenting with data from a research article isn't going to be dangerous for you unless you have some sort of health limitations or have been advised by your doctor and no one on the internet is your doctor. That's the only doctor that should be telling you that you should or shouldn't do anything. But if you're a totally healthy person and you don't have any medical limitations, trial and error some stuff, experiment a little bit, and then figure out for yourself, does this information make sense for me? The other thing that I really like to empower women with here in this community is to find a community of women who are doing the thing that you're interested in doing or the thing that you are researching. Read what other women are gaining from the lifestyle choices that you're researching. Ask questions of them, right? Ask questions of the people who are in the community. That's where you're gonna get your best information and then you still have to make an informed decision for yourself. You are the only person who can make the final decision on what you wanna eat, 
when you want to eat, what kind of medication you choose to help your lifestyle. If you choose to not use medication, what genre of eating style you, you want to uh, live by, how you want to exercise, what you're going to put on your skin, what you're going to do to your hair. Like you are the only person that can make the final decision. And the more work we do to gain our own self-confidence, the more work that we do to really manage the thoughts that we have going on in our brain when we read something like this, um, something that is geared toward creating some emotional re reaction or response from you, the more we can be in control of all of that, the more we are going to have the power to make the most informed decision for ourselves. And ultimately, that's what we want to be able to do. Here in this community, we talk about intermittent fasting a lot, but that doesn't mean that intermittent fasting is going to be the thing that's going to work for you. It works for a lot of women, but there are just some women that it's not going to work for. Try it on yourself. Decide if it's going to work or not for you, and then just go live your life. The ultimate goal that we have for ourselves is to live happy and healthy. There are a lot of people walking around very, very healthy and very, very unhappy. And there are a lot of people who are walking around happy-go-lucky and very unhealthy. We want to merge those two and be able to live them fully every single day. And what we need to do to have happy and healthy is to get out of this research, um, frantic, hamster wheel that so many of us are in and just make a decision from your gut like what does it feel like um, is going to work for you and then you got to just give yourself the honest opportunity to give it a try the one thing holding so many women back from having the body that they're happy with the energy that they once had that they want to have back a physique that you know no matter what age you are or what season of life you're in you are feeling confident about having your exercise um, opportunities back managing your health in a controlled way in a way that you're deciding to manage your own health all of that comes from our mindset and making really healthy choices and being really honest with ourselves. The majority of women who aren't feeling their best or looking and feeling their best when they wake up every day are the women who are just not being honest about certain lifestyle choices that they're making. Point blank, that's the problem, is we're not being honest with ourselves. So. Research is important, but it should not be ruling your life if that research didn't include you. This research didn't include us. It is not anything that we need to be worried about. And then everything else, you really have to give yourself the benefit of the doubt and do some experimentation trial and error some things. See if they're going to work for you. And if they don't work for you, that's okay. Living a happy and healthy life is a pretty simple concept. Again, it comes back to how honest we are willing to be about ourselves, about these choices that we're making, and then how consistent over time we are willing to be about those choices as well. And that's the goal that we have here in our community. So I wanted to make sure that I settled that because every day I do get several uh, messages from women saying they've read these kind of articles and what are my thoughts about it. So just so you all know, I don't really have many thoughts about any specific research subject that's out there. Um, I do think that some of them are fascinating and I do think that some of them are just absolute nonsense. And then in the end, I have created a lifestyle for myself that I love that's getting me the most amazing results. And then I'm just here to share that with you. Ultimately, you are going to be the one that's going to make the decisions for yourself. And that's the way it should be with everything, even when you're at your doctor's office. We are trying to be empowered women. We want to be confident women. We want to be women who are capable of making decisions for ourselves so that we do not have to rely on scientific data that may be inaccurate simply because the source is trying to push a narrative that we really shouldn't be following. If you haven't already done so, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. We have lots of new viewers here. We would love to turn you into subscribers. And then if you are here on this channel, do some clicking around. 
read the comment section. We have so many successful women here in our community who are creating the most authentic life for themselves and are getting some amazing results with the lifestyle that they're creating and they are very very generous about sharing those results so make sure you're reading the comment section and if you have a specific question about something always feel free to leave that in the comment section as well if i don't get to it one of our amazing community members is always willing to jump in and offer their suggestions or maybe their story as well most of the time the information that we need about the choices that we're making is already inside of us so get really good about listening to that body of yours.